The Tennessee Titans season ended in a flop. Despite nine sacks, Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, and company will be watching the Super Bowl from home. The AFC's top seed is no joke, and they did it with Tannehill missing Henry, A.J. Brown, and Julio Jones for 89.1% of his dropbacks. In their first playoff game with the talented quartet on the field, Tannehill threw three interceptions, and they lost by three points. With Tannehill throwing 14 interceptions and having his second lowest TD percentage while missing his star running back and top two receivers for 20 games, the 33-year-old signal caller had a bad year, and while most of Titan supporters aren't ready to say goodbye to their three-year QB, the team will certainly look to improve upon Tannehill this offseason. So here are five potential 2022 Tennessee Titans starting quarterback projections. First up, Malik Willis. Unless Tannehill gets hurt or has a bad start, this is a draft and growth situation. A first-round choice in the NFL draft in April, Liberty QB Malik Willis, one of the draft's greatest dual-threat prospects, and Willis's ability to throw on the move and with zip is evident after just a few losses. Choosing 26 may be too low, forcing GM John Robinson to move up to number 17 just ahead of the Saints to select Willis. It's a risky pick, but the potential upside is hard to deny. Perhaps Willis has the highest ceiling of any 2022 draft eligible QB. Tannehill will get another season to see how far he can take the Titans, ideally with a healthy roster. At number 2, Matt Ryan. On the surface, Matt Ryan in Tennessee may not make any sense. The Titans already have an elderly QB, and Ryan is slower and less mobile than Tannehill. The Falcons may favor Ryan's superior ball placement skills over Tannehill's agility if they bring Matty Ice to Nashville. Ryan is a better passer than Tannehill and would likely take better care of the football. Then there are the players' bloated contracts. Unless they're ready to take a step back, neither team can afford to lose their QBs this season. The Titans are excited to be back in the top spot, and the stats reveal that trading their starting QB would significantly influence both clubs cap. The Falcons likely only want Tannehill to be a bridge QB for whoever replaces Matty Ice. Also, the Titans are better off sticking with Tannehill than paying for a more deteriorating Ryan, even if he has a Super Bowl ring. At number 3, Kirk Cousins. Trading for Kirk Cousins is slightly more fascinating. In addition to strengthening Tennessee's passing approach and upping the points per game, Cousins can make all the throws. He doesn't have Tannehill's athleticism to manipulate the defense, but he's a better passer. Tannehill has only had two seasons over 4,000 passing yards, while Cousins has only had one. Some could claim Cousins benefits from the Vikings' excellent talent, but he has shown that he can run the ball effectively while also being able to dominate his game through the air. Tannehill had a 42-46 to career record before joining the Titans, where he had a 30-13 and record. Could Cousins have the same success with Henry, Brown, and Jones? Last but not least, offensive coordinator Todd Downing was in Minnesota in 2018, the same year Cousins joined the Vikings. And number 4, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo, the 49ers QB, has exceeded all expectations this season, but he's still expected to be traded this offseason as Trey Lance takes over. Jimmy G could be a trade target for the Titans for various reasons. He's three years younger than Tannehill, maybe cheaper, and has a 33 and 14 regular season record. Going to Garoppolo would reduce the offensive variety by removing the opportunity to execute RPOs where the QB actually keeps it, but he is a better thrower than Tannehill. Ultimately, the potential cap savings aren't worth upsetting up the locker room for a lateral move. When transferred, Garoppolo is anticipated to want a contract extension worth $24.2 million. The Titans are better off having Tannehill for another year. And finally, at number 5, Russell Wilson. Finally, a quarterback who is an upgrade over Ryan Tannehill. It's possible that a few teams who weren't planning to make a change will now do so. But first, they need to gauge Russ's interest in joining their team. Who wouldn't want a Super Bowl champion and 7-time Pro Bowl QB on their team? Some teams may try to trade Wilson because of his finger surgery, but Russ puts up 51 points in Week 17, tossing 4 touchdowns, and even at 33, he's still a valuable QB, which is Tannehill's age. Where does Tannehill fit in if Russ is slipping? That quarterback who was won since high school in Wilson has my vote. Wilson is still an athlete who can move the chains with his legs better than most QBs. Russ does not turn the ball over. He had one fumble and six interceptions in 14 starts, and in 18 starts, Tannehill fumbled four times and intercepted 17. Wilson could bring excellent leadership, big game experience, and a larger army than Tannehill while still being able to scramble. Russell Wilson is the quarterback the Titans are most likely to pursue if he comes available this offseason. Making such a trade is difficult for a team with low draft money. Alright guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.